Hi, I'm Sean Carruthers and welcome to part two of a three-part series on the iPod Shuffle. This time around we're going to talk about playlist management. Now with the new iPod Shuffle, it's introduced a new feature called VoiceOver, which reads out the name of the track that you're currently listening to with the press of a button. It's both a blessing and a curse. It's a blessing for those of us who are used to the LCD screen. Now with this new player, we can't actually see what's playing on the unit itself. So it, just a click of a button and the uh, iPod will now read out what is playing. So that's a bit of a blessing. It's a curse in that some tracks don't work so well with this for a couple of reasons, and we'll go over three ways that you can deal with this. Uh, the first thing that may be causing a problem is long, long track names. So we got to two ways to deal with this. Now, the first track we've got at the top here is a very, very long track. It's a, it's a hip hop track featuring a lot of guest artists, and that's you know fairly common in the world of hip hop, and, and they'll often put it into the name of the track. Unfortunately, they will read this entire thing out every time you press on that button. So you don't necessarily need that to happen. So you can just click in here on, on the name of the track and get rid of that information there. Hit return and there you go. Now it's a much shorter read. You can also hit control I on Windows or command I on the Mac when you're highlighted on something and it'll actually bring up a, a list here of the various things that you can do with this track. Now we're going to click on info you can edit this information here uh, on the, the screen. You can edit the name of it. And you can also edit the name of the artist to something a little bit shorter. So we're just going to change that to Alabama as opposed to the entirety of the, uh, the name there. And we'll click OK, and that's done. Or if you want to do this with multiple tracks, you can actually just click Next to T going through and list all of the uh, tracks on that album and just shorten them down on a one-by-one -one basis. This is also a problem with podcasting especially with uh, podcasts that feature a number of contributors. For something like MacBreak Weekly, when you uh, press the, the button on there uh, and it reads out the name of the, the uh, track and the artist, it unfortunately lists uh, a great big long list of guest names here. So, you know, as much as I love Leo, Andy, Alex, and Scott, I don't necessarily want to hear every single one of their names every time I press on the voiceover button. So, I might just change this to MBW or the Twits or something like that that's a little bit shorter and easier to you know, listen to repeatedly when you press on that button. So that's, that's one thing that you can do. Just shorten the names of the tracks. The ones that will affect you are the name and the artist. So you don't really need to change album names or anything like that. Second thing is language. Uh, by default, the uh, voiceover command uh, is very good at reading North American English. There is uh, an automatic setting on this uh, for voiceover tracks that will try to guess what language it is, but it doesn't always work it out as hoped. So we've got an artist here by the name of Jean-Michel Jarre. He's a musician from France. And uh, you know it may read it out, Jean Mitchell Jarre. And that's not what we want to hear. So if you end up with that sort of situation, what you can do, again, you can highlight the track, hit Control-I or Command-I, Go into it, and instead of going for info, which is where we were before, we'll actually go over to options. Now we've got a list here called voiceover language. Right now it's set to French, because we've set that previously. But by default, it'll come as automatic. So if you want to force it, we'll switch it over to French. We've got a number of other ones here as well, including a number of the ones that you'll actually see operas in, for example, so German, Italian, French, and, and some other languages, including Spanish, Dutch, Czech, Japanese. Well, not everything, obviously, so hopefully they'll add to this. But a good chunk of uh, different uh, tracks that you'll see in the world will be covered by this. Anyways, that concludes part two. Stick around for part three. We're going to be dealing with how to deal with the headphones that come with the iPod Shuffle, since it has the controls on there for controlling the iPod, if you don't particularly like the headphones or if you want to use headphones of your own.